What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another unboxing showcase review and I'm going to start doing some Mezco reviews considering the considering the fact that I got quite a bit of Mezco stuff because all the pre-orders were coming in. So starting off with Bishop, the last X-Man, according to the box, we got quite the artwork right in front of here. This is part of the 112 series, um, part of my X-Men collection that I'm going to keep on going with so here's the side of the box as well and of course the back of the box that shows you everything that you see here that comes with the figure uh pretty much it's been a while since i got packaging like this uh because it's a smaller box uh i think from the past because there was a lot of rumble society stuff coming out uh we haven't seen something like this in a long time from a different property you know so all in all this is what it looks like when we unbox it because that is what I go through on my reviews here. Just so you can see what it's like, what it's all about, what's the clamshell look like, everything like that. So we do have some uh, instructions and a little welcome note, of course, because this is an adult product. Um, here are the instructions just so you know where everything goes, which is always nice to have. And here is the 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 plastic tray uh, there are two trays with this so here is the first tray that comes with the stand and some other effects and majority of the accessories as well as the figure in this so let's unbox and put everything out on the display so we can take a look at everything All right, guys, we got everything out. We have quite a bit of accessories, as we always do with Mezco. So let's go one by one, take a look at everything. All right, and starting off with accessories, we do have a pair of fisted hands. And we have a pair of open relaxed hands. A pair of more expressive, like sprawled out fingers type of hands. And we do have a trigger finger hand on the right hand side where you can see the fingers are a little bit more closer together. But we also get another right hand trigger finger hand where the fingers like the pinky is a little bit like displayed out a bit. So it's it's different. There, there are two different types of trigger hands. Here is his rifle, which is quite the painted up rifle. It's very nice looking. Um, but I know that the last trigger hand that I showed off fits better in this uh, for the weapon here. It looks like it fits better. And we do have a detonator, like you can see here. And I actually use the other trigger hand, um, which fits nicer in this one. So there's the differences between the trigger hands. And here is like a handgun. So they call it an energy blaster. So it's more more compact which will definitely fit into this holster here and then i use the trigger hand that went into a larger cannon he also comes with three grenades as well as three magazines that fit right into this energy cannon like so and he comes with this large knife right here which really only fits into one of the trigger hands and one of the open palm hands uses this particular effect, this power effect here. It's a little weird uh, because it says that it fits in the palm of the hand, which is fine. And you actually have to find the grooves of the fingers that will be laid out in the mold of this thing. And then once you do, you can put it in here. The problem is it's, it just stands on there. There's no real grip to it. So sometimes I just kind of like, edge the the thumb out a bit so it can have a little bit more grip but unfortunately it'll just fall right out and he also has three different head sculpts this is the one that comes right on the figure out of the box so this is an incredible head sculpt especially the hair the hair is extremely well done and here is the second head sculpt of more of a grinning face using his powers you can see it in his eyes awesome and then we have an alternate look of him bald still looks really good definitely nice to have little options here so we could you know have different versions of, of bishop and we also did get this uh 
I don't know, you could call it a poncho, you could call it a cape or scarf of some kind of some type. Uh, I don't know how I'm really going to address this on him. I, I we will see. I'm not too sure yet, but let's take we'll we'll, we'll try something out. It's got a bendy wire which is extremely nice to have. Um it's got a lot of tatteredness uh, that you can see on the bottom and there's some discoloration so you can see that there's a little dark uh, like black tones that uh, transition into the red. So there were a lot of images that I saw where it just basically wraps around. Um, I kind of used it to, you know, make it more subtle, more flowy. So I kind of wrapped it around, used his hair to kind of plant it down a little bit further. Um, and I had it basically like this so it could just show some kind of movement uh, it's not the best, but at least he's not covering the entire body. But I like the way it looks. And what's great about Mezco in a lot of cases, they are capable of being able to put the accessories on the figure itself. So very good storage opportunity, uh, not opportunities, very good storage on the figure itself. So we have the blaster that can get placed right in this holster right here. And it's It'll hold right here because that way it just doesn't come out. Uh, the actual rifle or cannon, I believe, will have this slot here. Because you can see the the different pegs that fit into this that I believe would fit like so. So you just have to have that angled in a certain way and it will slide in like that. And it won't come out. So that's good to see. He does have some cylindrical parts here which i believe is for his grenades he does come with three of them and there's only spots for two so they do fit in very snug so that's good to to have so that way if you pick up your finger figure it's not gonna you know easily pop out for you these are pliable too the belt is pliable so it's got some movement to it in the back here, I believe, is for the magazines as well. So if you slide those in, those should fit pretty nicely as well. Uh, not having a lot of room around because his arm and that rifle's in the way. Or maybe I'm just not putting it in right. Yeah, it's a snug fit. I, I know they're going in opposite directions, but I at least put it in there. I think it can go in any direction, but at least it was able to pop in there and it is a snug fit so that's why i had a little bit of difficulty because this harness gets in the way and i was trying to make sure it didn't i i was able to do it so took the rifle out i can put it right back in now he's all set up oh uh, one more thing it is the knife which fits right here in this sheath which i need to get that out of the way and that is a snug fit as well so he's all set up Everything he's got. Oh, his detonator. Uh, the detonator does not have a spot, which is fine. I, I'm okay with that, considering I have extra accessories too. Um, and then, of course, the uh, power effects. So, regardless, we are good to go. Um, he's all geared up. And quick little thing, he does come with the X-Men stand that we've seen many, many times from the other X-Men characters in the Mezco line. And we have the flight stand as well that you can pop out this peg, insert it in this part, and then you basically have your options to pose them as you want. All right, let's quickly go over sculpt. I already mentioned how good the head sculpts are, which is awesome. They really are. Uh, but with sculpt, I mean, we do have soft goods. Mezco is very well known for their amazing soft goods. And this is quite amazing the way this bodysuit is tailored in here it's very nicely done uh and with all these plastic sculpts all around it and attached to it even better it looks incredible uh we do and you know what's even better uh even with this like stretchy material i don't see any areas where it's going to really hinder much of the articulation because it it moves very nicely uh, with the sculpt of his uniform and the armor, really nice. I don't recall reading the comic where his armor looked like this, so it is different and it's much more stylized in, in that Mezco way, so I like it. It's still very well done. I, uh, it, you 
they always do a great job i mean look at the armor in the shoulder pads in the chest armor there's a lot of detail in the way you know there's a, there's battle damage all over it so it looks really good even in the the arm gauntlets here you can see that all the different coloring great job on the paint i mean look at this belt and all the harnesses too you got your brown straps here into the yellow back into the brown and the black even the pockets or the pouches i should say you got some silver tones for the buckles and the brown straps it's even got a black wash that you can see the defined details right in there so that looks great we have this damaged x-men logo right here that you can see a little bit of some silver underneath uh it's it's crazy here even on the back the back is so well done we've got some kind of a uh cybernetic thing here i don't know even know what to call it oh wait a second there's a pouch here <laughs> there's a pouch here for the detonator yes i'm even happier okay so we got a pouch for the detonator we can do that we can leave it in here i think yes there we go oh that fits nicely oh it's awesome um more of the um the armor plated on the back with the straps here you can see here when you take that off so that looks really good right uh the clothing is this stretchy like spandex material type of clothing you can see that uh and it's got this painted or i don't want to like a like an elastic thing of a yellow stripes going down so you that's nicely done the the leg strap looks so good so good and then we got these knee pads that are i think they're individually strapped on yeah look at that you can take these off you can take those off and use them for other figures if you wanted to and look at that he's got an x logo right there as well that's pretty cool I like that. That's a nice touch that these are technically accessories that you can take off. And then, of course, the boots, huge boots, right? Um, they are, they are, yeah, they're pretty bulky right around here, right around the ankle area. But it's got two tones of browns and it's got the silver buckles painted and it's got red in there. And, of course, the black soles, which has some tread. Nice. Very nicely done. Love the way mezco does their their um their sculpts especially with their the clothing and the soft goods that they do so regardless this is a great looking figure and then when it comes to articulation i'm going to leave a lot of the accessories in here but i took the the cannon out uh just so we could see how much we can do with uh articulation because of soft goods articulation can be hindered but we'll try our best to do so with the head we do have some left and right movement you do get some you know blockage with the hair because it is it is a soft plastic but you can still move it around luckily you know we got some movement here because these are just elastic straps that are held on right there uh, but you can not look up because of the hair but you can look down that much now of course it's different when you use this head so this head i think you have all the movement in the world because you do have that neck joint you do have a dumbbell joint but you can maneuver very nicely with with this head so i'm going to put this back just because i like this head sculpt uh we do have i think there is a diaphragm joint yeah there's a diaphragm joint and from what i could tell yeah this the whole it's a whole body suit right under here so you do have some diaphragm movement like so and i don't know if there's some kind of waist swivel or ball waist i can't really determine it without really turning the body but this entire belt piece and the lower abdomen part is all attached to the bodysuit so i can't move maneuver it in any way so that's might be like a drawback of the articulation there the shoulders he has he has a ball jointed shoulder of course 
I don't feel any kind of butterfly joint, but he's he still has an upper bicep swivel and he has a double jointed elbow, which pretty much can go a little bit past 90. And we do have our upper thigh maneuverability. I can't call it a cut, but I can feel it. And he's got double jointed knees. You can swivel here at the boot, but the ankle is going to be very limited because of the way this boot is sculpted right there. So you can move back only that far and only move forward that far. The pivot is there, but only a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's okay. So hopefully we can get some good poses out of it. All right, comparison time. Let's go with our usual suspects. Here is Star Wars Black Series, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And here we have G.I. Joe Classified Series, Tiger Force Outback. And here, Marvel Legends, we have Vulcan, just because I wanted to check out how the newer body fares with this new uh, Mezco, as well as a Marvel Legends uh, new female body, just determining how the height fares well with this other uh with this new Mezco body as well. And we have some Marvel Legends X-Men. We have the Wolverine and we have the Bishop. So uh, the Marvel Legends is definitely taller than the Mezco version. You can see how much Wolverine here uh, is, is much smaller, which is actually pretty accurate. I actually like that. And here we have him next to Gomez. And I pulled out my uh, new Mezco Wolverine just to see in terms of height as well. Uh, definitely taller than the Marvel Legends one that I had recently. So this looks great compared to Bishop. They actually look really good together. And here we have the Mezco Cable. This is the PX Previews exclusive uh, version because I liked the X-Men uniform more than the, the one that Mezco did. Uh, this is unfortunately my disappointment with it because I believe, I, in my opinion, cable should definitely be bigger. But when they made this cable, which was years ago, this was at least, I want to say, four years ago or more, um, that cable was so small. And now that we have Bishop, I, these guys should at least be the same size or cable to be taller. But unfortunately, that is what we have. So... If they ever do cable again, I hope they do it in a much bigger body. But this is this could still work with my shelf. I'm just glad I have. Um, I'm still continuing with the Mezco X Men line. All right, guys, there you have it. There is my review on Mezco's 112 Collective Bishop. I have to say that I still enjoy this figure very, very much. It was so much fun to play with. The articulation does have its hindrances just because of the soft goods, but. When you get Mezco, you understand that that is the case. And when it comes to soft goods with any figure, they're always going to have those limitations. But I can pretty much do what I can with this figure on so many different poses. It's uh, unbelievable with what I could do. I feel like this is some sort of newer body that, that Mezco is using that I'm not familiar with. Uh, because I do collect quite a bit of Mezco, but this one feels new this one feels different and i really enjoy it i love this bulkier figure uh but if i'm wrong please let me know in the comments if you guys have any other mezcos that are similar to this body but overall because this is x-men i have a more biased opinion on it unfortunately i do love my x-men and this bishop i have been waiting for for quite some time and i'm very very happy to finally have it in hand i love the poses i can make out of this i love the effects that you that it comes with all the different accessories the sculpt everything looks great and i i hope you guys enjoyed it so please let me know in the comments what you think so make sure you hit that like subscribe if you're new i would greatly appreciate it but thank you all for coming by and watching this video i hope to see you soon and i hope to see you on the next hunt